Whoa! Who are those sexy people looking at us? What's up? This is If Let's Then Play. We're playing Sonic Adventure 2, and it is an honor to see your beautiful face watching us. I can't see them. Well, we can pretend. <laughs> we can pretend. Okay, we're pretending. <laughs> well, now the whole thing's ruined because I had to talk about how I was pretending. Shoot. Wow, Zach. I'm the worst. So, um, we're fighting this ghost with Rainbow Tom. He ate too many Skittles. When, uh, when Skittles sponsors us, I'll be able to afford a better program. Damn! Whoa. <laughs> totally kidding, totally kidding. Oh. You can't hear, but wasn't fucking when you, if you get run too fast and get behind him and he notices you, he goes like... <laughs> it's really creepy sounding. Dude, what if carrying on our, um, well, carrying on my trend no, no, no. from Uncharted, what if um, Pillsbury, like the, the Pillsbury Dough Company. Yeah. What if they offered to sponsor you if you got rid of me and replaced me with the Pillsbury Dough Boy? Would you take it? If they replaced me? No, me. Not you. They came to you, they didn't come to me, and they were like, Hey, Zach, we here at Pillsbury Dough Boy really love what If Let's Them Play represents and what See? it's about and the process behind you making your videos. But that Pete guy is way too toxic. We hate him. He doesn't do original content. His comedy's not funny. He's just bad for the show. He's he's taking away people from the show. We want to replace him with Post Radio Boy, and we will fund your show if you uh, accept these changes. See, like, this is a complicated situation, because if they came to you to say that, and they're like, we're offering like all this money to do this, I'm like, <laughs> dude, take the money. I'm not even Would mad. Would you really do that? Yeah. Wow, I wouldn't be able to. <laughs> oh wow! So like, so like, if I think of it from that perspective, the fact that I'd really do it, I would imagine that, uh, that you would. But if apparently you, I would not. ask what you would want to do. Yeah, like I, would I, say... I wouldn't want to though. It's like tricky. I don't know. Like again, I'd be like, like if they did it to you, I'd be like, dude, like they're offering me like a million dollars or whatever to do this. Like go for <laughs> but it. It's gonna be feels very dope. Way. Yeah, <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> What's his commentary gonna be on fucking video games? No, what if it was Cheerios with the fucking bee that they have? What's his name? Dude, Does he have a bee? Uh, <laughs> Does he have a name? I forget his name. He met Sonic though. Did he really? Yes, there's a commercial where he met Sonic. And wow. he's like, how do you run so fast? And then Sonic doesn't tell him and he just runs away. And Sonic, <laughs> he's like, I gotta show you that later on. In traditional Sonic fashion. Yeah, dude. What a great piece of trivia the for bee the doesn't folks even, at home. The bee doesn't even... Look it, Sonic doesn't even care about the bee. He's like, yo, you pay me this commercial, I'll take the money, but like, I don't even care. <laughs> take dude, the money and run. Dude, Cheerios? I don't even eat that. Dude, I eat blueberries. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, I eat blueberries. No, that's what this that's what this guy eats. He eats blueberries. Dude, he... He's... You could almost say he's the blueberry mascot. Almost. This guy, he's close. Very he's too close. scary. He's actually kind of too scary. Looking. He is, yeah. These ghosts, the ghosts that look like this, this is apparently like kind of how the canon Sonic ghosts look. They have like the black teeth and they're like the crazy eyes. Well, he doesn't have black teeth, but the other ghosts do. Because in Sonic X, there's an episode with ghosts and they look like that. And the Sonic comic, the Sonic X comic, there are ghosts and they look, and they look like that. So it's like, that's kind of, say, it's kind of sorry, like that's how we're doing ghosts. Huh. Apparently there's ghosts in Sonic World, you know? That's interesting. We were, um, me and Zach. During our filming break, we're talking about ghosts and if we believed in them. Um, I I don't really did I share my opinion with you on that? Not really. I I always like felt like there were such things as ghosts, but like I never logically could bring myself to believe in it. Right. Because like it's just weird. Like you know what I mean? Like it doesn't make sense. Ah shoot. Wow, wow. What do those doors mean? Those doors let the sunlight in. That's when he has to escape underground. Okay, I see. So those, see how those doors on top, those those are act. Remember how those doors were in the levels, and I had to hit that that uh that uh sand um sand timer. Oh yeah. To open them up. Yeah. So those are open up to the sky, and the ghost behind him is bouncing a sand timer on his head. So the sand timer is opening those doors, which lets the sunlight in, which makes him go on the ground. Gotcha. And that's why I could hit him. I see. So ghosts. Oh oh yeah. Um, so yeah. You always uh, kind of you. So you're kind of saying you wanted to you want to believe in them. I don't want to play them. Um, I am, like very spooked out by the idea of ghosts, just because it's like uncontrollable. Like you don't know what yeah, the fuck they're gonna do. That's the thing. I the supernatural like always kind of freaks me out. Dang. Um, but yeah, like there's always something in the back of my head that was like maybe. But uh, I don't know. It, it just seems like illogical. There we go. Point. Nice. Very good job. Oh this no. This should be it if I get it. This last one's kind of hard to hit. It's kind of quick. 
What are the uh, those statues in the back? Um, those are those are like Egyptian statues, but Eggman put his head on them. See? Wow. Yeah. He's he's defacing the uh, Egyptian uh, ruins. So these these are original Egyptian ruins. Like he didn't build them. Yeah, yeah. No, this is a pyramid, okay. and you just set up shop inside it. I wasn't sure if he went about building the pyramid or not. No, he's like they would never expect my base inside a pyramid. <laughs> he says that I think. I mean, it's the last side was check. That was pretty rough. rough. I mean, I think that someone would find it because they do all these, like, expeditions and exploring inside pyramids to this day. I love, like, how sometimes Sonic is just, like, stretching in the background. Yeah, he doesn't do that anymore. I used to like that. He's like, I mean, he's running, so he's always, like, he's always stretching. Jeez, I'll take your lives as well as the Chaos Emerald. Eggman getting dark. Yeah, dude. <laughs> his mouth is so stupid looking at his I have a feeling Pete will like this boss. <laughs> I love that, like, face. It's just like, what? Isn't this a cool boss? Yeah, he's pretty cool. It's a giant It's a giant Egyptian golem that Eggman built, like, robotics inside to make it move. Hmm. They're really going with this, like, technology integrated with the Egyptian stuff theme. He kind of reminds me of Geb from Smite. I'm not oh, sure like, if you remember Geb. No. He was the giant. Well, he's he's the like the Egyptian Earth God. Um, well, he's he's kind of like the Egyptian equivalent to Gaia. Okay. But like no, just like the way like the way his arms are, it's like very Geb. Right. Yeah. So I really like this boss um, because well, first of all, I play as Sonic, and I think it's fun. Mm -hmm. But also because it's like about platforming. Okay. So like what you so like what you do in the rest of the game is very much tied into this boss. That's one of my problems with bosses often, like, especially in platforming games, because platforming games are about, usually about platforming. Mm -hmm. But then the boss is usually, like, a little more about, like, fighting or combat, so it, like, feels, like, a little disconnected. Kind of okay. like my mini games thing from before. But this boss, like, this boss is all about, like, mastering, plat using the platform skills you mastered in the previous levels. These right. chunks of ground start to fall away soon. So, like, and then you have to jump over these and yada yada, like that. So it's like, I'm kind of doing the same stuff I was doing before in this level. Mm -hmm. I don't know, that makes it feel solid to me. How are these platforms, like, staying up? <laughs> Why are they there, you're asking? No, like, see how they're not really being supported by anything? Uh, it's video games. I mean, you know. Also, is the quicksand rising? Because it looks like it. No, it's not. Okay. Um, but you can't fall into the quicksand, but you can climb right out of it as Sonic. Uh, you can't oh, in the cool. mechs. And it's yeah. not in this, you don't see it in this story. I'll just t say it now just because it's a cool thing. Um, it's not really a spoiler, I wouldn't say. Um, after you beat this boss with Sonic, um, the thing you're hitting on his head it turns out to be the robot's inhibitor that keeps it from hurting Eggman. Um, and then after Sonic leaves, um, Eggman has to fight it. So you fight this boss twice, once as Sonic, once as Eggman. It's totally different with Eggman huh. because he's in like a mech, so he has to fight it in a different way. Right, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's kind of neat. You don't see that in the story, in the hero story, but you see that in the dark story. Okay. This and is now, a pretty cool cinematic. Oh yeah, we're taking off in Eggman's totally just a US, um, <laughs> totally just a US space shuttle. Wait, when did we get here? This is in the middle of the pyramid. But when did we get, like, there? Like, where we were just at was totally not here. Sonic ran there. The whole reason we went to Eggman's pyramid is because we knew he had a rocket to get to the space colony. No, not saying that, though. Like, we were just battling a sand column. Or it's like a, a stone go golem. golem, yeah. Golem. Yeah. Uh, what did I say? Column. Golem. Uh, sand. I think yeah. it said sand column. Golem. No golem. I don't know. Uh, we were spreading like a like a stone golem, in like a pit full of quicksand, and then there was just an entire room of like space stuff. Mm -hmm. so this How? Is space colony where <laughs> there's no like transition. So I, I ran know. there. Not that I've had, I actually there's haven't no, had much um, to complain about in this game. Is there no um? Yeah, there's no subtitles. Essentially, Everyone Knuckles. Oh, they hit the thing, and then the emeralds got let loose. Oh, um, no. Knuckles is holding them there. So now Knuckles is actually messing with, like, took the controls away. He's like, we gotta get them back! And he yanked the controls away from them. He's, like, making them spiral out of control because Knuckles is a hothead. How are the emeralds affecting their lives? Knuckles is a guardian of the Master Emerald. He was born and swore to protect them. But besides him, how is it affecting everyone else? Well, the servers are seven chaos, and chaos is power rich by the heart. The seven chaos emeralds or the master emeralds? Huh? Where did he go? Those emeralds. <laughs> those those are bits of the master emerald which Knuckles is sworn to protect and keep in control. The ma master emerald is what gives the power to the seven chaos emeralds. Okay. So the seven chaos emeralds 
get their power from the Master Emerald. But like, if those disappeared, how fucked would Sonic be? Sonic would not be able to use the Chaos Emeralds anymore, like, theoretically. Does he use them in this game? Yes. Yeah, we've been collect. Yeah, we. Uh, well, Robotnik's been collecting them. Sonic hasn't been yet. Um, Robotnik has been. Um, you do that in his storyline. Gotcha. Um, there's a cannon on this. The cannon he used to fire at the moon needs the emeralds to fire those shots. Okay. So he's been collecting them with Shadow. That sh remember Shadow had it in the beginning of the game, mm -hmm. and he used it to warp around. He stole that from the bank. So, okay. So oh, Robotnik right there. Actually, yeah, yeah, house. exactly. He's missing one. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. I was like, that's a fake one. Huh. So he has a fake one that he's going to use, and it would, and it would, um... Yeah, I think it'll blow up the control panel if he puts it in or something. Well, you know this past weekend I was in Myrtle Beach, but I don't think I told you that, um... They, they, have you ever seen the Chaos Emerald candies? Uh, you mean Ring Pops? No, no, like, they're like little mints. Kind of. Okay, but they, well, they had some Sonic branded? Uh, Yes, uh, it's oh. a little Sonic head and like yes, I have yeah, yeah I have the tin, I had those before and I had the tin of it. Yeah, I was gonna get you them because they were super cheap and like whatever. <laughs> but um, I, I wasn't sure if I could get the past TSA, so I was right, like, right. Uh, but I, I, I saw them and I thought of you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> nice. Zach would like these. Yeah, I actually have those. I have uh, I had them a long time ago and I kept the I kept the tin. Cause were they good? It's cool. Yeah, they're pretty good. Hey, okay. this place looks so cool. I love the space colony. Oh wow! This is sick. I like the floor. It looks even better. Um, uh, this is nice on my laptop. I have um, uh, my PC at home, which is a little beefier. I don't know. Maybe this laptop could run it. I decided just not to try. Um, I have an ENB set up. If you don't know what an ENB is, it's a um, it's a, like a post processing software you can lay over a game, to make it look better. Uh, it puts like uh, it puts like bloom and stuff like that and color correction into this game, and it makes this game look so good. Um, oh. and these space levels look, like, amazing with it. Wow. Um, yeah, I love how these levels look with it. What am I missing here? Oh, okay, yeah. There we go. But yeah, these, this design of these places is so cool. Mm -hmm. This level's kind of pain in the neck, though. Uh, because, see those airlocks on the side? Later on, those get TNTs on them, later ones you'll see, have mm -hmm. TNT on them, and if Knuckle, if Tails shoots them, shoot, just like that. Oh wow! It will try to suck you out into space. Oh, cool. So, so now I have to watch where I shoot these things, because I before I just press B and just wiggle a stick around everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, but now I have to be more picky and choosy because of those things. Yeah. So it's kind of cool. kind of neat, but also kind of a pain in the neck. I feel Especially like this one. it wouldn't have been too hard for them to put like a little helmet on, on like or like a little like airlock on his little neck. Because, like, I don't know, I feel like the fact that you can just open up a vortex of space isn't exactly good for his health. No. Um, but, as we have before, we will um, discuss the the scientific flaws of Sonic in the next <laughs> episode of, of If Let's Them Fall. Talk about a cliff jumper. <laughs> Talk about a... Um, Cut before that, please. No more cliffs. <laughs> no more cliffs. Hmm. No Title? more cliffs, please. No more cliffs. Just call it no more cliffs, but still cut it. <laughs> <laughs>